I don't understand. I don't understand how so many people thought Don't Breathe was a good movie. No, I mean it. Like, I don't, I don't understand. My Don't Breathe review coming up. Okay, you guys. So, listen. Let me tell you. When this movie first starts out, I have no problems with it. I think, oh, it's a cool idea how they're actually getting into the houses. They do a little bit of character development to make us care about the characters for what might happen to them later on in the movie. I thought, okay, cool. They didn't just throw them into a perilous situation and we don't care about them at all. I didn't care about them a lot, but I did care about them some from what they developed from the beginning of the movie. Where I have a problem with this movie is when they move into the house and with the blind guy. This guy is like Daredevil. How he is able to do some of the things that he can do with him being blind is absolutely astounding to me. To the point where I'm just like, get out of here, man. There's no way in the world. When he is confronted with the combatants in his house, he turns into Daredevil. He really does, and I'm thinking, how is he doing this? The story tries to build reason for this within the script. And they say, oh, they give us he was this, and that's how he's able to kind of do the things that he can do. No, not buying it, not from that. If you're gonna do something like that, it's, it's, it's not the fact that he was doing the things that he was doing. That's fine for me, this is a movie, I understand that. But what I need for you to do is I need for you to build in the script his capacity to be able to do some of these things. Because when you just throw it at me, when this guy starts the daredevil action and I'm wondering how is he able to do this? I can't buy it. And this movie does not do that. It tries to frame it such that we believe or we understand how he can do some of the things that he does, but it just doesn't make any sense that he's doing some of these things. So that's part of the problem. And then it's strange because at the same time as him kind of having these abilities, we also see him seeming to, you, you, you see how his blindness affects him moving throughout the house, except for when he's confronted with folks and then he turns into blind Batman. So that is a major problem I have with this film. Uh, the pacing of this film was pretty good. It moves at a pretty good clip. The suspense, it was not that suspenseful to me. I kind of felt like a kid, like I was when I was 12, and I was walking through like a fun house or something like that, or, or a haunted house, and a guy, your grandpa jumped out of the closet with a sheet over his head and said, boo, and I jumped when I was 12. That's how I felt about this movie. So the it wasn't like I was on the edge of my seat throughout this whole film. I just did not think this film was a good movie. And then finally, my last point is that it goes way too long. It did not know when to end itself. As a matter of fact, it gives us this little addition that really made me say, oh, you got to be kidding me. I, I'm done, I'm done. You know, I wanted to set myself on fire after that because I wasted that much time of my life. I did not like this movie. I am giving Don't Breathe an E. Don't go see this film.